What's going on? Today we're going to be talking about a creature feature called Crack and Tentacles of the Deep, which is also known as like some other titles like Dark Water and Black Water and things like that. Uh, it was released by New Image Films, September 23rd, 2006. Um, it stars Charlie O'Connell, Victoria Pratt, and Jack Scalia. It was produced by Ken Badson, Badison and Abby Lerner, and it was written by Tim Cox, Sean Keller, Nicholas uh, Garland, and Brian D. Young, and it was directed by uh, Tibor Takakos. Yeah, he's done quite a few other films though, like The Gate and The Gate 2, Trespassers, Spiders 3D, I Am Madman, and Ice Spiders, to name a few. He has about 50 films to his credit so far, and they're all B-movies. So yeah, this is just over about a $2 million budget. And it's your paint by numbers creature feature that you'd see on the sci fi channel. I think this one was actually featured on the sci fi channel for sure. Um, but yeah, so in the Greek islands, a family or, um, yeah, a group of researchers, which is somewhat family, um, are on a boating, uh, expedition through the locks trying to find this lost treasure egg thing. It supposedly lies at the bottom of this, uh, channel and then um but then there's also your typical sci-fi channel creature feature uh villains which is actually usually like some form of um government agency trying to get to it or something like that of that nature so you have your bad guys that are also looking for it to edit and make money off that just getting it any way necessary, using violence and stuff. But in the midst of all this, there's a giant kraken, which if you're not sure what that is, that's basically a giant squid <laughs> who uh, comes and starts attacking people that are going near it in the tr same area where the treasure is happening. So you have this treasure hunting story going on that's pretty paint-by-numbers with an amusing squid-like film, uh, squid-like, a squid creature attacking everyone who's coming around and in some aspects saves the day in a bit this film is like i said paint by numbers creature feature but it's still amusing there is some pretty experienced cast members in this there's uh some people i think one of them played in glee or and mutant x or stuff like that but yeah um yeah, it is a little dated nowadays, but it's still... The characters are generally likable for the most part. Um, but the villains are annoying, like typical TV movie villains. And the CG creature does look a little dated, but there is some pretty funny kills in this when the tentacles come out and attack. And, uh, yeah, and there's some good humor mixed in there with it, but it does take a little while for things to start up. And, go. and it ends on sort of like a Jurassic Park style note, which is a little odd, but and amusing. But for the most part, it's it was it's watchable. Um, it, there's uh, some, the thrilling scenes are few and far between though, and um, yeah, so the pacing in this film is kind of a little bit slow. And then, but when the creature is in play and everything, it does pick up and it makes it a good watch. Um, but for the most part, I, it wasn't the greatest thing. It's pretty generic. And, uh, besides some interesting, funny kills, you also don't really get to see the full squid very often. There is some cool shots, though, of the squid swimming around the boat. And you get a good sort of, like, shadowy-ish type look of it under the water. And I love the way that shot looked. That shot probably makes the movie more interest, made it more interesting. And it's about the halfway mark. And uh, it's cool. And the one thing I also really like about this is you don't really see these type of creature features anymore. We have like a giant squid uh, being the giant creature that's attacking and trying to defend its like territory and stuff. You don't really see that anymore. You saw in Peter Benchley's like Beast. But you don't see that in modern film monster movies. Now we got like these big crazy ape like creatures like in Rampage and Godzilla, Kong, all those ones are still all present. But you don't really see any giant squid movies anymore. Like they did the Meg, which is like a giant shark movie, which was 
pretty good. But um, yeah, they should try to maybe try to make something like this and see where it goes. It might actually be interesting to and a little more refreshing seeing some sort of new type monster. Now, apparently underwater has a creature like this but i haven't seen that yet so i can't say anything on that but for the most part this film is just a basic film a basic <laughs> creature feature film sci-fi channel tends to do paint by numbers the odd time they'll do something interesting and change it up but for this it's pretty your generic film it's good if you want to throw something on and just turn your mind off and watch some amusing like mildly well-developed cg creatures of some mildly well-developed characters with some typical arguments and some funny chill scenes with tentacle slapping people this one might be for you and also if you like the sci-fi channel moves like i do uh you'll definitely find this one watchable uh, but if you're not into that and you're into like the more big creature feature films this one definitely won't be as good for you so yeah but i'm gonna give this one a two and a half out of five because it's just your generic monster movie it's nothing special nothing new and it's your typical sci-fi plot basically it's your equivalent to a marvel film yeah paint by numbers that's basically how disney's marvel universe is now so i stopped watching and caring about all that junk and now this is why i watch all these good low budget indie films to find some good ones for us to check out and for you to check out uh that you probably never thought of watching so yeah if you like monster movies you'll probably enjoy this one it's amusing and it's fun to look back and seeing how bad some of the cg can be so yeah two out of five for me check it out there's a trailer link down below like always and also my instagram's always linked down below where i always post clips of films i'm going to view in the future on my story and I usually have the film title in a hashtag in the subgenre of film. Is it somewhere in the film clip usually? And so in case it's something you're not interested, you're aware of it. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and stay in the loop. Uh, yeah, make sure you like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. And um, yeah, if you comment your opinions of this film down below. If you've seen it, let me know uh, what you thought of it. If your opinions are the same or different, I'd love to hear what you thought. Also, make sure... Um, comment your favorite sci-fi channel monster movie or any TV mo monster movie that have comment that's your favorite comment those down below I'm always trying to find new ones to check out so I'd love to hear what some of your favorites are so make sure you comment those down below and also if you have any films at all any films that you want to hear my opinions on in the future comment those down below I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them so yeah and also don't forget to subscribe uh, cause I'm all, I never, you never really know what I'm going to talk about next. And I absolutely have no idea what I'm going to talk about next. So, uh, yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, hopefully you can find something cool and interesting that you never thought you'd check out together. So, you know, with that, uh, Kraken Tentacles of the Deep was typical, but a little bit refreshing. And that's something I like, always like to find. So hopefully I can find something like this soon in the future. And until the next one, watch out for those killer squids when you go swimming in those locks and lakes and all those fun areas. Because you never know when something giant like that can actually appear. Well, that's one thing I like about these movies too, especially ones with like realistic creatures. This could probably actually happen in real life at some point. So, yeah, but till the next review, I guess I'll see you all later. So, cheers.